Have you ever heard of a successful smile? Well, a healthy, beautiful smile can actually bring you greater success, more money, and even love into your life. All right, Dr. Charles Martin's going to straighten all of this out for us. A yeah. uh, healthy, beautiful smile. Yep. More money, more success, more love. Yeah, that's called smile power. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Yeah, right. that's well, smile power. Explain yourself, sir. <laughs> well, you know, uh, our smile is something that we give and receive, and we feel better about ourselves when we give them and receive them. You know, 72% of Americans, according to the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, think that your smile has a major impact on your life. And certainly, most people would think about that and they go, you know, it really is true. How promotable you are, how easy it is to maintain relationships. Certainly, if you aren't smiling at somebody, it's hard to be very friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's right. Yeah, uh, mm. Frowns don't go over very okay. well. So that, that's, uh, uh, let's talk about this million dollar smile and enriching your life here a little yep. bit. So, so if, you, if you come across as a friendly person yeah. and a positive person, obviously we all know that positive people do better. Well, absolutely yeah, true. And we all want to be around positive no people. No kidding. Yeah. So the thing is, is, is a smile is something you can do something about. Mm -hmm. And that's a key concept. You know, you've got, everybody's on a new diet. Or, you know, I've got to exercise, I've got to do this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. A smile is something you can do about without going to the gym or limiting your foods or all doing all those things. So you can improve how you look by simply that. All right. And, and of course, if you are not happy with your smile, you don't have to live with it is what you're saying. Exactly. And, and it really does make a difference. Uh, let's talk about the general health here too because it, uh, as we've learned from you in the past uh, not only are we talking better jobs and more money and more you know everything else more 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 <laughs> it, it does affect your health yes All it right. does and so it is nearly impossible to have a beautiful smile and not have healthy teeth and healthy teeth affect your general health which affects how well you live and how long you live you know my grandmother um, when i was died when i was a you know a little boy and mm -hmm. uh, I know that she had all kinds of problems with her teeth. She was chewing on her gums. She was diabetic. She did not have good teeth, and she died too young. It does make a big difference, and it, and it's, yeah. it does really affect your overall health. It does. All right. Uh, you always bring a before and after yep. photo with you, and we have another one today. Uh, give us a little detail on what was going on with this lady, well, what this, she did here. Yeah, this was a lady who um, wanted to have a pretty smile. She had... had uh, you know, gone along in life, and it finally said, it was, it's my time, you know, uh -huh. it's, it's, I can do something about this now, and she decided to do that very thing. Do you find a lot of situation where you have baby boomers who uh, put their kids first, or all of that? Uh, I, yeah. I'm guessing that, the, just, I'm guessing this lady falls in that category. Indeed. Well, maybe not, but, you know, that they've taken care of their kids, they got the braces for them, they did all the things for them, and now they are heading into the second part of their lives right. and they're still fairly young and they're, they're, they're getting it fixed. Right. Well, you know, the baby boomers and seniors aren't going quietly into the night. <laughs> you know? So it's how we look and how we feel about ourselves that's going to make a big, important, uh, big impact on what we do. So, yeah, smiles can be regained. And with that regain, you feel better about yourself and feel better for what's now being called the second act, that uh -huh. latter, latter part of your life. 